hello welcome back to the channel now today we're in the 320d and we're going to be cracking on with some repairs uh, if you'd watch the intro video we know there's a spring that's broken both of the rear ABS rings are warped, distorted, so they need changing. Um, but the plan now is to sell this. Uh, I was going to keep it as a uh, mid daily, but situation has changed and I could do with the cash. So we're going to mint it up a bit, try and get as much from it as we can. Uh, looked on Auto Trader and they're going anywhere from sort of. 4,000 to five and a half thousand pounds. Um, I'd like to think I'd get near a five to be honest. Um, I think it's a unique spec. Certainly, as I showed you in the intro, sort of the steering wheel, suede or Alcantara, whatever it is, steering wheel I've never seen before. Obviously, it's got the aero kit on it. Uh, so yeah, so the plan now, we're going to get the driver's front strut assembly out, that's the spring that's broken. Um, I'm going to paint the calipers, um, refurb the wheels, I've got two new tyres for the front as well. And then we're going to sort of clean and detail all the, all the arches. It needs two shockers really, I advised two shockers last year. I think it was a passenger front and a driver's rear. So the front's going to get two new shockers and new springs. Um, I've ordered some braided brake lines as well from Wes Moto. So we'll get them fitted. So yeah, it should be pretty, pretty clean when we come to get rid of it. And hopefully that'll uh, translate into more, more cash, basically. Uh, so that's enough of me talking, let's get on with some repairs. So first thing that we're going to do is just remove this spring clip, take the caliper off, we're going to take the disc off, because if I leave that any longer out here it's going to become uh, far too corroded and uh, yeah, it won't clean up. So this clip we should just be able to prise it out like that. Watch your face, I think, is the message there. And then if we come round here, we want these little caps out. One there, one down here, and there should be seven mils. Top one. Prise it off there, put in the bottom. Lovely. Then we'll just let that dangle. Usually you would tie it up so the weight isn't being uh, suspended on this brake hose but because we're getting new anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the pads, if we look, plenty of meat on them. They're almost like new, I would say. Eight to 10 mil of uh, meat on them. 
and then these carriers we're going to clean up and paint same with the caliper I haven't decided what colour yet um, maybe yellow I think perhaps but we'll see we're going to go anthracite with the wheels I think they're like a satin black at the minute um, but yeah anthracite or gunmetal something like that and then I'm going to do the, the spoiler on the rear to match and probably the mirrors as well Be a nice right, just got 6 mil allen key holding this disc on hopefully we can uh, buzz it off yeah there we go Obviously, because we're reusing this disc, you don't really want to clout it from behind, unless you've got like a rubber a rubber hammer of some sort, because you'll just end up denting the uh, the face of the disc. Luckily, that's come off all right. Right, and then we've got three 18 mils to undo. So we've got this one and that one for the uh, the caliper carrier, and then we've got this nut here. That's uh, obviously the pinch bolt for the, the lo lower bit of the shocker. So I'm just going to do this one first. Which is spinning, but it's not seized, so that's a good sign. And then we'll get on this one. This one. I'll just get a spanner to hold on the opposite side of that pinch bolt, whatever size it is. Nineteen, I think. All right, so we've got the carrier off put the bolts back in the hole they came out of because I don't know how long it's going to be till I put it all back together discs off and the pinch bolt is out the lower shocker um, the most awkward bolt I think is probably going to be that nut right there for the drop link the springs a little bit in the way uh, and they usually spin for fun at the best of times. So I just put a bit of uh, penetrating oil on there. Same on there, because we're uh, obviously going to be replacing them. And then same where this metal brake pipe comes into the flexi. And we'll just put a bit around the base of the shocker hopefully to help ease it out that probably that's probably a 16 I would think I guess right next thing I'm going to do is attempt to remove this uh, this disc brake shield um, just because they're fragile and there's going to be a bit of uh, a bit of hammering involved um, and obviously there's a chance we might drop it and bend it um, so yeah, I think they're just 10 mils, four of them. One, two, three, four. See what happens. So I'm just gonna crack them first and then pull the trigger. comes off like that and the same what I like to do is just put the bolts back in the hole and just set it aside 
Let me know what they're for. Right. Just gonna give it a little tap. Probably want that drop link off first. Idiot. 16. Possibly some molies. Right here. Oh. I don't think this will come off just with the gun. No. So up the back they usually have like a collar. Some have two flats on where you can get a spanner in. But usually a set of little mollies like this is enough just to grip it, stop it from twisting. If this spring wasn't in the way. What we got? should start to move downwards a bit we've looped the shocker up a load so hopefully it just comes out obviously we might need a chisel because um, where that pinch bolt goes through it's not a solid bit of metal that's obviously got a slit up it and it'll close up as the pinch bolt pinches it so we might need a chisel just to open that up a bit so I think that's what I'll go and get Another thing I've got is this hammer, uh, it's copper one side and it's hide the other uh, just because these hubs are aluminium so my steel, you know, hardened steel ball peen hammer will probably, uh, you know, smash it to bits hopefully this will uh, still have the same force but less, you know, destruction of the metal doing my head in. Right, chisel up the back side then. Where are we at? There we go, look. She's moving. Look at that. Almost out. Now, usually, you have to pull the top end of these out, I think. But, obviously, because this spring's broken, we're going to get the full sort of um, travel of the suspension, I guess. Ah, and that, yeah. If we undo the 13s up top, <clears throat> it's ready to fall out. Right, so up here we've got these 13s in a sort of a triangle formation. And then we're going to have to take this E14 out. So that this, uh, I guess, strut brace type thing uh, is out of the way. Because one is underneath it. Right, so we'll pause this off. Hopefully that gives us a little bit more. I'm just going to ratchet span of that because the other, the other end is sort of over there. I feel like we won't gain much time doing that. So if I just ratchet span of this one off first. Right, well that's the shocker off, broken spring, next time we're going to be cleaning all that arch up, 
taking the uh, the hub assembly off it completely. Uh, for now, though, I'm going to shop for some springs and shockers. Obviously, when I bought it, I was told that it was on lowering springs, but looking at these, they just look like standard, obviously BMW um, M Sport springs, which will be lower than a standard 3 Series anyway, but they're not like a H&R or, or an IBAC, so it's going to be cheaper for me to source some uh, yeah, standard replacements, OEM spec replacements. Right, I'm going to call it a day now. Um, because I'm sweating. You just in the state of my hands after them gloves dripping. I don't think jeans was a good idea either. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, see you in the next one. Bye. Like, share, subscribe. The Car Lovers Channel.